Graphics. The Daily Graphic this morning says 78% of promises delivered. Vice President Dr. Bomia yesterday at the uh, results fair held at the Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology, the Great Hall. Only 1% of informal workforce on pension scheme, pensions authority. Trigger happy police man referred to psychiatric hospital on the back page educational institutions must have safety officers fire service advisors uh, ellis robinson Oko speaks for the national fire service zongo fund rolls out development projects the daily guide mpp achieved 78 percent promises ndc cd raised like usain bolt baumia two accused disagree at uh, nca trial Eugene Bafuboni is there, he stands uh, accused. And Utum 4 excited by fair free SHS progress. That's uh, on the Daily Guide. The back page says FIFA set to launch fund for player salary protection. And uh, police deny two officers interdiction report. The Finder newspaper, 78% of MPP's promises delivered. Over 300 promises delivered. Dr. Balmia, remember the promises were 388 in the manifesto. There are also some manifesto plus uh, promises that have been put out there. The um, special credit facility for agribusiness in the orphan, according to President Kufuado, depositors of savings and loans, microfinance schemes to receive payment. This year, according to Dr. Bamia, Mesgold customers granted bail. They were denied opportunity to um, to go on demonstration, according to the police, they have demonstration demonstrated on that particular issue already. So there's no need for them to demonstrate again. The Ghanaian Times, government to offer credit facilities to farmers, agribusiness, uh, president says so. And all the depositors of collapsed banks will be paid, Dr. Bamia said that emphatically yesterday. Former farmer jailed 20 years for impregnating stepdaughter. Oh, ho. Oh. At the town hall meeting in Kumasi, <clears throat> vice president says... We have put economy on the growth path as he touts government's achievement in three years. 64 experts hold discussion in Kumasi on food security in Africa. That's the back page of the, um, the Ghanaian Times. And finally, STMA begins implementation of digital property address. This is the Sekendi Takradi Metropolitan Assembly in the western region my guest this morning from the side of the ndc is a member of the legal uh, committee of the ndc and also a member of the communication team lawyer to Tamaklo. when we get the, the rep from the mpp side we shall share with you his name or her name and give them a seat to ventilate their own uh, opinions or perspectives about the topics that we'll table this morning. Did you welcome? Good morning. How are you doing, Council? Johnny, good morning and uh, good morning to your cherished viewers. Great. Yesterday was the results fair and some, some have said it's an equivalent of your green book when you were in government. What are your initial thoughts about the score, first of all, uh, juxtaposing that with what the President has said earlier, the meet the press encounter sometime in December where he scored the, the, his ruling party or his government 72%. It's been some two months after, maybe three, and now the vice president says they have 78% and they have achieved uh, all of that. What do you say? Johnny, there's nothing wrong if a government decides to rate itself. Mm. When a government decides to rate itself, I mean, like the accounts will say, if you do not say, when you go to a barbering shop and you don't talk, mm -hmm. the barber may end up giving you what you never bargained right. for. The NDC from 2009 to 2016, mm -hmm. we decided to put our achievements, mm. veritable achievements in the Green Book. Okay. It's been three years now. The MPP has not been able to say that this particular project listed in the Green Book mm -hmm. was never done. You say the roads or was were not there. Look. The roads. And I have challenged leading MPP communicators mm -hmm. that just point out one road that the NDC said we completed that never exists. You and I live here in Accra. Mm -hmm. For the first time, there was never a bypass around Burma Camp. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Has that road not been done? It's in the Green Book. Mm -hmm. Can the MPP today mm -hmm. tell us 
one project, road project in Greater Accra that they started. The road never existed. They started and completed within three years. Now, zish, they have nothing. So I was not surprised at all. Mm. When yesterday, in a very comical fashion, our vice president decided to go to Kumasi and to mock the good people of Ashanti region. How, how so? You did accounting uh, how, to how, the people. When we did, and consistent with our constitutional responsibility, mm. probity and accountability, mm. we needed to account for the good people of this country. Mm. So we went on the accounting to the people. And you will notice that any time John Mahama embarked on the accounting to the people tour, mm -hmm. he is either going to commission a project, commission a project, commission a project. What Nana Dodan Kwakufuado has done in his version of accounting to the people project is to recommission mm. projects John Mahama had already undertaken. Mm. But you see, that's not the real issue. This morning, I want to expose a few of the lies Dr. Mahamud Bahamia peddled. Mm. And, you, and you will do that with data as well. That's what the, the MPP is calling Absolutely. for. Bring and, alternative and, data. And I want to read so that the record will reflect properly. Mm. And this I take from CTFM, the analysis of what the Vice President said. I quote, in 2018, we reduced electricity prices by 22%. That's right. Bahamian speaking. Right. By the way, this is the first government in the history of the Fourth Republic that has reduced electricity rates. In 2019, we increased the prices by 11%. But when they take the period between 2018 and 2019 in net terms, we have reduced electricity tariffs by 10%. Mm -hmm. This had never been done by any government in the fourth. Mm -hmm. yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. This had never been done by any government in the fourth republic. Therefore, it is a promise we have fulfilled. Mm -hmm. When Dr. Mahmoud Bahamia claimed that they are the first in the Fourth Republic. What's your difficulty with that? To have reduced electricity tariff by that percentage, which is 22%. Mm. That can never be the first. And just for the record, just for the record, I want, because he says we should mm. speak to data. Right. Let's speak to data. Yes. I refer you to a story on my joy online. Okay. Electricity tariff reduced by 25%. This was when? 2013. 2013. Okay. 2013. <laughs> Obviously, in 2013, it was not Dr. Mahmoud Obamia who was the vice president mm. of the republic. And this is a story by Isaac Esso. Mm. On the 10th day of November 2013, the story is filed at 3.29 p.m. And it reads, government has announced a reduction in the electricity tariff by 25%, mm. unquote. So when Dr. Mahmoud Bahamia say that the MPP under Nanado Danko Kufado mm. are the very first to reduce electricity tariff by 22%, it cannot be correct. Announcement is different from implementation. In fact, it was done. It was done. Mm -hmm. This was a communique signed by my own good friend, Felix Kwachi, okay. announcing it. It was done. Mm -hmm. And so that's one lie that we need to put. If you look at the scorecard, they created their own table. Mm -hmm. At 48, right. this is what the same government claims. And I want to speak to data once again. Score 48. Mm -hmm. It says 48. And do so in short term. Okay. That's Baumia. Baumia claiming that MPP solved doom so in short term. Mm -hmm. I mean, like we always say, if you cannot be truthful, at least be accurate. So that we know that you are not a truthful person. But at least you are being accurate. So we can take it out from there. Baumia himself walked into the studios of Joe FM and announced to the whole world mm -hmm. that Joe Mahama <laughs> deserved no credit for fixing doom so. Mm -hmm. Nothing convicts a man better than his own words. And there are videos to that effect. Okay. I can send you after the program. You can play it. In fact, the record will show mm. that within 2013, 20, 
16, before mm -hmm. we left office, mm -hmm. we had brought Ameri, we had brought car power, mm -hmm. and had increased Ghana's overall <coughs> electricity generation capacity mm -hmm. by a percentage that had never happened, except the first time when we built Akosombo Dam. Three years under Nanado Danko Kufado's administration, they can tell us the power project that they have undertaken. Nothing. They have not even added one megawatt of power. So how did you resolve the, the government's so? argument is that we, we have added on more uh, that we we didn't need our, our, and our, which our, we could our, have our exported. Our but because of you the know, fact that it's too know, expensive, you know, in we are unable to export. In 2007, mm. when we first experienced the major power crisis, mm. The MPP idea of resolving that crisis was to send men of God to the Akosombo Dam to pray that the dam will fill up. That was when they brought what Dr. Reku Brobe, then mm. GR, mm. Uh, uh, VRA, VRA boss, described yeah. as the toy machines. You recall? Mm. You recall mm. that incident? Their understanding of resolving that problem, because in 2007, the Energy Commission came out with their findings mm. and stated categorically that because our population industrialization keeps increasing mm. and growing, there was the need for us to increase generation capacity by 10% on annual basis. Mm. Today, as we speak, there are agreements <coughs> that have come to parliament. Some of these agreements, government of Ghana had indicated right there mm. that they are going to service those agreements on the basis of proceeds that they will get by exporting power right. to Burkina Faso and others. So in one breath, you are saying that you are going to make money from exportation of electricity. In another breath, you say no. Now, Dr. Baumia says that they have done better or done 78 percent because mm -hmm. They have increased the price of petrol from 16 Ghana cities in 2016 mm. to 25, 26 Ghana cities today. So they have done better. This program... They, they don't determine the prices that international... Oh, so international, in the past... In the past... In the past... Influences. In the past, when the likes of G.H. Mensah and co., were holding gallons of petrol on campaign platform. Jerry Rollins was the one detecting the price of petrol. Or OPEC, the organization in charge of crude oil and others, was just established in 2018, 2017. Please, do not save this government from the... No, I'm, I'm, I'm just telling you what the government is saying. No, 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 please. Saying. I mean, ignore them. Look, one of the things that have resulted in the increasing price of petroleum product today is what the BDC is called forest differential or forest losses. Mm. And this is as a result, direct result of the incompetence of this administration. But they, they say they have paid legacy debts recently. There's legacy debt by the grace of God. And you see, that is why I always say John Mahama is several miles ahead. How so? Several miles ahead. Don't, they have paid when, the debts. When he where, came out with mm. the vision, mm. ESLA, the, 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 the energy, Levis. What happened? Sector, Levis. Our friends in the MPP, one described it as nuisance taxes. And that with the benefit of power, they were going to scrap or review it. Today, the entire monies that had been paid mm -hmm. to the BDCs came from ESLA. Simple as that? Simple. Nanado has not added one thing to ESLA. But you see, Within 2017 to date. Okay, wrap up for me yes. on energy. Esla, so. Esla alone had given this administration close to 7 billion Ghana cities. My friend here is a member of parliament. Under the Esla Act, the Minister of Finance is supposed to give an annual return mm. as to the receivables. Right. So he, as an MP, should have it. Mm. And the record shows that over seven billion and you know what they have done no tell me when they came they created an amorphous entity called esla plc and had gone ahead to raise bonds and it has taken the esla arrangement mm -hmm. out of gear 
Do you know? Mm. And we are, we, today, we are holding a press soiree. I'm mm. inviting you. We are going to expose how a company directly associated you with... You are inviting TV to Yes. Me. Yes. A company directly associated with President Anaku Fado mm. was paid 300 million Ghana cities from ESLA. For, yes, for what exactly? We don't know. Because ESLA was uh, established for a specific purpose. Mm. That the receivables will be used to resolve the challenges within the energy sector. Mm. I am giving you the name of the company, Stratcom. Okay. A company directly linked with President Nanado Danko Ekufado. They were paid 300, over 300 million Okay. Wrap dollars. up, wrap up. So let me just wrap Dr. up. Dr. So Dr. Bauman yeah. says that we're, we're going to be using technology to be able to assess First of uh, all, first of credits. all. In fact, I found that extremely ridiculous. Why so? Anybody who had been buying electricity will tell you that the app used in buying electricity online had always existed. So where from this whole idea of banding things around? But you see, before but we're told I leave, that the government told, says that the Dr. Bamia says that it was on a pilot basis, you know, and that now oh, we're ready to roll it you see, you fully. Can, you can. You see, let me just quote something, and I usually want to use Dr. Bamia's own words mm. so that the conversation will be proper. Dr. Bamia had an opportunity of critiquing the NDC on inflation, and in the words of Dr. Bamia. Mm. This second May 2012. Okay. Mr. Chairman, how many Ghanaians have, have seen a single digit increase in the prices of what they normally buy in the market and shops over the past year? I can testify that if you try to give your spouse mm. a single digit increase in shop money, she will not be amused. Today, at that time, mm. the NDC had achieved single digit inflation. Oh, no, we're, 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 hold on, we're getting to inflation. Yes, for the longest time mm. in the history of this country. Dr. Bamia ridiculed it. We're getting to inflation. But let's get, um, let me, before I introduce uh, Andre Japamesa to you, he's uh, from the side of the, of the NPP, uh, he's a member of parliament for the second D area. The government has put together a website, delivery.gov.gh, where you could go and find uh, the results of the promises sector by sector. Agriculture and 89%, uh, uh, that means we have 11% uh, outstanding. Chieftaincy, religious affairs, 80% achieved. Uh, Economy 80% achieved, education 94% achieved, uh, energy and petroleum 75% achieved, foreign affairs 100%, governance and corruption 53% achieved, growing together 100% achieved, health 65% achieved, infrastructure 78%, local government 43%. Natural resources, 74%. Science and technology, 78%. Security, 70%. Social development, 70%. Tourism, culture, and creative arts. We also have 69%. Trade and industry, 82%. And youth and sports, 79%. Bobo, welcome. Thank you for your time. Eduji says, says the things you are talking about, for example, in energy sector, where you have scored yourself... Uh, you know, some 78% is not, is not proper. 75% uh, is not correct. And no. that's, so let's start, let's take it one after the other. Let's talk about the tariffs. He let says me, me. they started it in 2013. So it is not correct that you are the first ever in the history of Ghana to have had that huge tariff reduction. What do you say? Let me say good morning to our church viewers and of course to EDG and your good self and to register my protest. Mm. Because I've been here since 7 o'clock. Mm. Your program usually starts somewhere around 7.20. Okay. So I was sitting in my car waiting and got into your studios at 7.10 mm. only for me to see a DJ on screen. So oh, you, I will you, plead that you are consistent with your time. So the program starts at 7 o'clock. Those of us, you do your daily runs at 7. Bobo. I haven't, I'm not new on the show. But well, we start so, at no. seven daily runs. I could show I, you. I, I, I show I'm, you I'm just registering my protest because this is not the first. But we have. Yes, hold on. Take it in hold on. Faith. Hold yes, on. Yes, hold yes, on. I'm you taking know, it in good faith, but I'm also saying that, Bobo, you know, we have a waiting area called the media. The, the, I, the I don't the have a problem. Hub. I'm mm. saying that, of course, if I have documents to read uh, and I know that consistently you start your program at a certain time, okay. I'm entitled to stay in my car and, and do the reading. Very well. You know, so that's just it. But you see, any time that the vice president speaks. Mm. It seems to me that uh, the 
sickness that is referred to as bubbly. You've heard it before. <laughs> uh, attacks the NDC. Really? Ah. Why? You haven't been listening to him. You haven't read the document. Mm. I would have wished that in his attempt mm. to name call, mm -hmm. he would refer to the data. Because that's exactly what the Vice President admonished all of us to do yesterday. Mm. Speak to the data, not insults and name calling. He's, Those, been, he's been speaking to data. Which he data? 2013. Chairman. He quoted figures. You see, I have November 2013. Table 3. Electricity tariff change percentage. Okay. It's on page 15 mm. of the document. I'm sure you have a copy. Right. 2010, the percentage change mm -hmm. was 89%. 2011, 10%. Mm -hmm. 2012, zero. 2013, 78 percent. 2014, 28.36 20, percent. 2015, 59.2 percent. 2016, zero. 2017, zero. 2018, minus 22.08 percent. 2019, there was 11.7 percent increase. Mm -hmm. So let him show us. Not newspaper reportage. Mm. Tell us that this data is false. Let them tell us. And it says petrol price what? Look. You have increased petrol price. Oh, yes. Petrol prices increase based on factors that were based on the formula and mechanism that was introduced by you. Your Automatic government. Adjustment Thank you very that. much. Now, but he says they don't, Hold on. They don't the, decide and that. You see, the Ope, exchange Ope, rate, no, I, I don't have a problem. Mm. He said that a significant portion of it mm -hmm. is as a result of exchange rate. Right. You, you heard him say it. Mm. And I will look at the performance of the exchange rate under your regime and what this government has done. Data. Mm. Look, Johnny, in 2000, between 2009 and 2012, you were in power. You increased petrol prices by 29.5%. Mm. Between 2013 and 2016, you were in power. Petrol prices went up by 24%. Mm. Between 2017 and 2019, it's gone up by 13.5. 13.5. Yet, what do they tell us? What do they tell the good people of this country? Look, this morning I heard Prof. Bokpin okay. speak on my way here. On the University of Ghana. Oh, he's ordinarily objective. Hmm. And he said, categorical, that look, when you look at the data, hmm. as the vice president said, you compare 2016, mm -hmm. January 2017, and where it is that we are today. This is not a confirmed economic indication. So. These are facts. This government has done well. And so the NDC can tickle themselves all they want. And he says what? When they embarked on accounting to the people, to, what, what did they do? You see, excuse me, it's even important that we put the issues in their proper context. Fred, so let's, let's do that. So, for instance, they were in power for Eight years. Mm. You said you put put Oh, oh, oh. Now, let me Esla deal with PLC. it. I'll come there. Mm. They were in power for eight years. According to data that they themselves have put on social media. Mm. Between 2009 and 2016, mm -hmm. they did some 54, 55 projects, mm. including the airport and UGMC. The only items that they credit to their three years in office mm -hmm. are three. Which are? Introduction of free school uniform, mm -hmm. introduction of free school sandals, and commencement of rehabilitation of Tamale Teaching Hospital. According to them, these were the only achievements of their government in the first four years. In the um, Green Book? Ah, in which the Green Book they claim relates to only mm -hmm. President Mohammed's era, okay. according to them. According to the NDC themselves. So this this so if you compare is, is, is for, wait, for wait. Professor Mills oh, regime. Yes, the three items that they said. Okay. Those were the only things that a professor, good old professor, 
did under his tenure was three. School uniforms, school sandals, and Tamale teaching, teaching hospital, hospital commencement. Mm. According to the NDC, compare that three years to what the MPP, or four years to what the MPP has done in three years. Let's talk about that's, Esla. That's where you mm. begin to appreciate. And so it tells you clearly mm. that all the things that we said we've achieved, mm -hmm. all the things that we said we are still on it, work in progress, mm. delivery, and all the things that are pending, mm. if the good people of this country, coupled with the great economic foundation that mm. we've built, give us another four more years, we will do exponentially more Esla. than they did in their Let, Let's years. talk about Esla. What he he alleges that you Esla. created Esla PLC, see, even though you poo pooed Esla hold on, uh, hold on. when it was first when, proposed. When and, was now, and now you've been able to pay the BDCs all their legacy debts, Ketsi Esla. And so it is not your creation. It's a creation that you are benefiting from. Uh, and what do you say to that? When was Esla passed? It would be useful to know. Mm. December 2015. Thank you very much. How long did you accumulate energy sector debt be 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 before you even contemplated the setting up of ESLA? Mm. In any event, when, when you set up ESLA, what did you do? You were going to wait, accumulate funds annually mm. to pay for the BDC's accrued debts that were started in 2011. Is that not what you have done? Oh, no, that's not what we've done. When we came, mm. we said that, look, these debts cannot continue to stay on the books for the period that these businesses are going to have to suffer. Mm -hmm. So we brought in the ESLA PLC as a vehicle, okay. at the back of which we raised the bonds mm -hmm. to pay off those obligations over mm -hmm. the three-year period. Mm -hmm. And then use the proceeds from ESLA to then service the bonds. That's thinking. That's creativity. Mm. Okay? The ex this exactly the same thing that we've done with the uh, 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 Get Fund, mm. where we've collateralized and raised $1.5 billion over a three-year period, 500 of which was procured in 2019, mm. to fix the infrastructure in our schools okay. so that we can reduce significantly the impact of the double track. He says you have not added so, so, any megawatts. But to, do we have to? to it would be reckless why would it be? Because these guys, when they were in power, mm. consistently we had said the energy sector problem was financial. Okay. You know why? Because the peak demand of this country, as of 2009, was in the region of about 1,900. Mm. What and that was sufficient, and now installed capacity was just around 1,930. Mm. Sufficient to meet our needs, save that we didn't have any reserve. Okay. But. Bear in mind, President Kufu has started the construction of Bui, mm. which was going to add another 600 okay. megawatts onto our power generation capacity. Okay. That would have put our power generation capacity at 1,930 plus 600. Mm. You do the math. I'm a uh, lawyer. I don't know too much <laughs> math. But then that clearly is in excess of 2,500. Mm. What is our peak demand today? 2,300. But what did they do in their attempt? to so called, solve the so-called doomso, mm. they contracted 5,000 megawatts of power. The excess will be exported. Merchants so they of said. export through where and when? Where's the infrastructure? At what cost? So let it not be said mm. that Akufuado hasn't had, hasn't added one megawatt and so because of that he's filled. That is proper thinking. Okay. A government that thinks of the sustainability of this country's development. When, when in their attempt, I called them merchants of war. When, when, when they profit from war. Look, hold up, hold up for me. So the government is promising one district, one factory. These factories will be drawing power. Yes. If assuming that all the factories are up in all the two hundred and sixty or so districts, where would you be drawing power from, Roland? Johnny. Yes. Look, a consistent increase or addition to our energy generation mix mm -hmm. such that Ghana derives value mm. for same would not be condemned. Okay. And so I'm saying that if we had an industrialization plan mm. that says that Ghana is going to industrialize at a certain pace and that our energy 
needs ought to be increased by 1,000 or 500 megawatts mm. per year. Nobody will condemn it. That need hasn't arisen yet. Ah, ah how so? Now we've accumulated the power. It is certain we are spending in excess of $600 million paying for power we don't need. And you are saying that that is good management. I'm saying if they were well-intentioned mm. and they were adding 500 megawatts per year and then industrializing the country alongside to consume that power, that would be proper. It says Esla is giving but you seven, seven billion. You are in parliament. And, you know and, the figures. Look, I don't have the figures here. Okay. And indeed, it is the case that per the ESLA Act, the Minister of Finance is required to submit annual report on Absolutely. the use of the It's by law. And so we can interrogate it. Indeed, I'm sure you can pull it off mm. online now. Right. Mm. But so to suggest that some, and you see, we will all await their so-called press soiree, uh, where he's already to, to extended do. an invitation to your good self and your... No, no, to, to, I'm not there. coming. Oh, is, come. To come and do what? Come. Listen to your lies. Wisdom. <laughs> you ever speak wisdom in yes. this country? Yes. Well, I guess that some of your members do, and okay. I won't take it away. But we'll take, take a very fair. final one so that, so that I bring him in. He talks about Look. the app. He says the Look. app has been up and Have running. Have you used any electricity corporation mm -hmm. app? Your, your, oh, Chief, Chief let me ask you. Because your Nkrumah says we're, we're done, uh, what do you call it? And, and Vice President said we're doing a pilot and now we're ready to roll it. And that's exactly fully. what it is. But, but, see, but they're saying that it's been see, in existence for a long time. Whatever it is, why are they picking on paraphrase? Why are they not debating on that? Ah, but what is electricity? It's it's useful. It helps people in their ease of purchasing power. Okay. I have used prepaid. At least I've been in my home for the past nine years. Mm. I use prepaid meter. I've never had ever in my entire life that ECG had an app where you maybe could you buy were born before technology. Oh, 2011 <laughs> okay. to now. Okay. Nine years. Ago. Nine years. So so it should. I haven't be heard about, about it before. Exactly. Okay. But today, the vice president has mentioned it and it's become news. And the NDC claimed that this has been in existence for uh, some time now. Okay. And so, pilots that 100,000 people out of 30 million people have downloaded should be sufficient to say that it's a program that is already in place. And so, the vice president okay. haven't mentioned it. How about all the other... Thank you. Like Let, let's, let's, unless it has, has, has a rebuttal, I'll give you one minute and give him one minute. Just, just, and then we'll move on to another sector. Regrettably, my senior brother here talks about automatic adjustment for right. solar. It started when the MPA Act was passed. Under Mr. Kufo, check it. Two, my brother talks about security mm. and that they have scored themselves against what benchmark. You see, this is a man who wakes up, scores himself without any benchmark. Do you know the Bantamahini spoke? The, the at manifesto is the benchmark, is it not? The Bantamahini spoke at the program. Right. You know the concern he raised? Security. Mm. The security that they were scoring themselves high mark. The Bantamahini said it is their biggest problem in Ashanti region. Now he talks about whenever the vice president speaks publicly. What we do know? That any time the vice president lies, mm. we have a constitutional <laughs> responsibility to set the record straight. Mm. Hey, today we are talking about a confirmed economic management. You have a vice president, an excavator, a boboya, economic management, <laughs> and we don't know what they are doing. Because for the first time in the history of this country, my mm. brother, the envelope of resources alone to this administration is in the region of 211 billion Ghana cities. And, yeah, and you're not seeing work for it? Hold on. In eight years, the NDC had 248 billion loans, everything, taxes combined, 248 in eight years. You can see hospital. You can see airport project. You can see railway line project. Very taboo. For the first time, we implemented single spine salary structure. What have they done? You can't see free SHS. You can't see the, the factories. overall cost of free you SHS. You can't see the Hold ambulances. On. Hold on. The overall cost of free SHS, mm. even as they say, is about six billion. Mm. Oil revenue alone. Oil revenue, royalties, taxes, everything combined. Okay. Had given this administration over twelve billion Ghana cities. Well, two minutes is up. No.
just so I'll just conclude on this. Why? <laughs> He's talking about if you do a power project, it means you are not visionary. Is That's that what, what I said? Saying? He said he says that you that contracted excess. No, but today as we speak. No, but today as we speak. properly. You sit on. here. Hold on, hold on, hold on. What are we talking hold about? Hold on, hold on. We know hey, you. Hey, oh. no, no. Uh, we know your crack. Bobo, hold on. Are we talking about? Hold on for me. Hey, did you, what, what, what? Hey, you talk said. of excavators. Bobo, allow me. Deal what? with your airbus. Hold on, hold on, hold on for me. Hey, did you what? What he said was that you contracted excess power that we didn't need, which was wasting away. So, so I understand <laughs> him to say that because have, you could no, have, on, you could have on, graduated no, the, the addition. So as we speak, we have excess capacity. Is that his statement? Is that not it? Needless SS oh, capacity. So, needless SS capacity. Of course. That is so possible. It's 600 million. Well, allow allow him to make his point. You will get your rebata, I beg you. I mean, I can be rowdy. No, no, no. Don't Who be. Who is rowdy let's, here? Let's know. I let's can know. be rowdy. Who you know this rowdy? thing. I can please. be. Who has been please. rowdy here? So, you, please. You I'm don't defeat this position but, that you guys but, take. Both of you don't do this in the courts. Don't do it here. We beg you. One at a time. You see, today, he knows. You claim we have needless capacity today, mm. excess capacity. Nanado is in parliament asking our MPs to give parliamentary approval for the Pualugu 66 megawatts dam. Correct. Correct. It is to generate power. No. It's ah, a multi purpose oh, dam. Please, please, please. At the ah, end, you made a point. Oh, I need to correct. Can you just allow him, please, please note it so that you can? We are going to generate 66 megawatts. Mm. You say it's multi purpose. There are irrigational components. But the 66 megawatts power alone, stand alone, mm. you are costing the taxpayer $366 million. Which means that we are paying $6 million per megawatt power. We have never costed any power project like this ever. Never the, ever? Never. The entire project cost with its multi-purpose component runs into over $900 million. And he knows it. So if you are doing 66 megawatt power for $366 million, who are the merchants of war? Who are the merchants of war? For the first time, we have inflated a power project by over 300 million. Okay, thank you. But, but and you want to talk see, about We'll take your rebuttal on look, this matter. And then in any case, in any case, the, BB, uh, the BDCs, yes. by 2016, we had paid them 630 million Ghana cities. You said you, you, accum you accumulated the, you can, the debt. In any case, the payment to the BDCs, the accumulation of the debt never started under the NDC. It never did. Okay. Let's be no. honest to no. the conversation. Have, have, your, have, your, See, have your bite when, on this one. When, when you can, give, says you are, you are, you you can give him the entire five minutes. When yeah. elected officers mm. renege on their responsibility mm. and go into the media space to throw out allegations that cannot be mm. founded, we need to take their comments with a pinch of salt. Okay. Which of the comments? Look, when the document was submitted to Parliament, mm. the Pualugu Multipurpose Dam, right. that is essentially going to be the biggest investment in the history of the Northern region since independence. Mm. Indeed, in 2008, when President Kufo contracted a facility for the same project, mm. when they came to power, they diverted the funds. Really? Yes. Into what? Ah, ask them. They said they were going to use it to do using corridor roads. They diverted it. When this document was submitted to Parliament, it was referred to the Finance Committee. Mm. None of the NDC members appeared before the committee. Really? Yes. Why not? Ask them. They said it was late. We were tired. They were tired. So, I was at the committee meeting. I'm not a member of the Finance Committee, but okay. I've been quoted you, you have by... Absolutely. Mm. And it was explained that, look, the purpose of this dam is essentially for the irrigation except that because we can also generate some electricity mm. from it they have added that component and that the design mm. is completely different from regular hydro dams 
hence the cost. But the power component so, is uh, in there. No, um, yes, absolutely it is. Okay. So it's going to generate some power. So it's the design is not So it's the, the multi purpose which is bringing up the cost. Fantastic. No. And so, and so, oh, wait, 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 wait. Are, are you an engineer? Allow. Are you an engineer? Are you, are you an electrical cost? engineer? What is the overall cost so, of the melting so, cost problem? And so, 500 million I, I don't have a problem. Right. And so, you ah. can come and sit here and play to the gallery oh. by no, alleging mm. that because mm. a kilowatt hour or kilowatt uh, megawatt mm. of power mm. has been produced in the past by at, at the cost of, say, mm. 2 million. Mm. This is 4, 5 million and your own member of the finance committee dollars. was saying that they have padded the contract by 150 million. Mm. You are sitting here saying 300 million. Yesterday I had Sweeney also say 66 million. How much has so it been padded by? So, so, so hold on, hold on. Uh, hold on. Johnny, 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 How much Johnny. has it been padded by? Has it been padded indeed? Let them prove it. Uh, but we have. You, you see, and I'm saying that if they were minded to have appeared before the committee and ask the questions to the technocrats mm -hmm. they would have gotten an answer and not come and sit on national tv okay. to make allegations of padding you see okay they know themselves you're, you're, and they know the kinds of things that they did in government mm -hmm. so it is they, they are quick to suspect that somebody else is doing the same things that they did in government but when you say let's switch let's switch now before we go nobody to has padded any contract and you did the speaker was magnanimous, deferred the debate on the matter mm. until January. Because we've been it, in we, parliament for because, a week. Because they still want the document to go back to the because, finance committee because, for, for because, another round of interrogation. You will debate it because, because you say they didn't, because they didn't tell the up at the of committee not, level. We know you for who you are. Mr. Speaker saw that ah, when he, Professor Michael Quinn, was in government under Mr. Kufo, mm. that was when they negotiated Bui. Right. Bui, you, yeah. you agree? Right. We was doing 400 megawatts, right? Mm -hmm. 600. No, 400, please. I beg you, just check the records. 400 megawatts mm -hmm. at over 700 million dollars. Mm -hmm. That adds up to 1.8 million dollars per kilowatt. Now you are doing 66 megawatts for 366 million dollars. Times have changed. No. These people claim they have stabilized the city and the dollar. So if anything at all, it should be going down. Is that not the conversation? Mm -hmm. And so if you pick, and you see, my senior year when he was talking, the entire cost of the multi-purpose dam is $900 million. The, the hydro component, the electricity component, is the $366 million. And you say it's on the high side? For 66 megawatts. Okay. It has never happened under the history. Okay. Of course, some more dam record is there. We power dam, bone power, all this thing is there. The record should speak for itself. He says it's multi-purpose. The multi-purpose, that is why I segmented it. Okay. That the overall cost is $900 million. The electricity generation company, which is the 66, million, uh, 66 megawatt, is the $366 million. Okay, let's move on, gentlemen. Uh, and a lot of your messages are coming in. Let's talk about infrastructure because it <clears> was one of the things that you pushed out uh, while you were campaigning in 2016, I mean the NDC, the government scores itself 78% with 22% outstanding. And of the 45 uh, campaign promises for infrastructure, five have been completed. And we're told that the other 40 are in progress, if I heard right. Five have been completed and the other 40 are in progress. And the score is 78% here on the score sheet if you go to delivery.gov.gh. In, in, indeed, the, 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 the all was said mm. was that we haven't commenced 10. Okay. We have completed 5 and then 30, okay. making 35. Okay. They, they so you let equal. him speak okay. to the infrastructure record so I can respond. Okay. <laughs> okay. Give him, okay, so you are... Ca it is his record that is under attack. So at least let him speak. Uh, Nobody is attacking we, we, anybody. We would be happy are, to know your infrastructure are, record between 2009 and 2020. We are interrogating. <laughs> yeah, it would benefit. be good. Let and I've, I've so asked, you know, no, no, let's let's not 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 let
cap in hand, crying that look, we've tried, we've tried homegrown, mm. we are unable to so, manage so this. Economy. Tell me. So come and help us, you, you, so that we gain some credibility. Bobo, you gave us 40, 45 uh, uh, promises. You have only been able to do five. 30 are in progress. 10 have not been started. Why would you score yourself 78? But if you do the math, the average is that. But of course, you see, and, and, and the Minister of Information, I heard him yesterday evening, explain that, mm -hmm. look, we are honest with the people of Ghana. Okay. We are being candid with them. And mm -hmm. indeed, so rich. items that were listed are all, and I saw a project that I know mm -hmm. is actually work in progress. Okay. But because definitive agreements have not been reached, mm. it is put on the list as pending. Which project is this? The second Takra Depot expansion. Okay. A lot of work has been done there, indeed. But, but you have put it as pending. It is listed as pending. Okay. But when, I know because that, that no, hold on, hold on. Allow. It hasn't started. Allow. No, I'm just saying. No, that it has a lot. Okay. A lot of work has it been has done. What started. work? What work? Oh, indeed, His Excellency the President has signed the executive oh. instrument expanding the port okay. the boundaries of the port okay the document was signed on the 4th of july 2019 do, I, do we have a facility for it no it's not it's of course it said it was going to be done in collaboration with the private sector okay. and i know of proposal that has been submitted to the gpha mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. is currently undergoing reviews okay and so i say that i know that a lot of work has gone in there mm. but it wasn't put as delivering okay it was put as pending because no conclusions have been reached. But honestly. Okay. Okay. I'm saying that, look, we have started some work. Mm. Bear in mind that we met a challenged economy. Mm. An economy that was in comatose. They themselves admitted it. They were told that this economy had, we've stripped it down to the bone. But, 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 but the, the 10, projects, the ten so, projects that are yet to start, the 10 infrastructure projects, uh, pro, uh, projects that are yet to start, it's quite a substantial number. And in, in doing the grading, 78, don't you think it's but quite a high But if you've completed high, five and, side. and 30 are at various stages of completion, okay. all you have to do is to put 30 and 30 and 5 together okay. as opposed to 45 and draw the the, 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 the percentage achievement. Okay. Uh, and so and I'm let, saying... Let's bring in Etienne. Well. Sorry, then we'll come no, back no to problem. you. Etienne, welcome. How are you doing? I'm doing well, Johnny. What, what are the folks I'm, saying out a there? A lot of messages <laughs> coming in this morning. Hi, Mr. Host. Trusting MPP today is worse than investing in men's gold. Oh. The VIP has just been reduced to an ICT development officer. He can talk the talk but not been able to walk the talk. Wow, what a country to live in. Good morning, Johnny. Recently, we were told the MPP has just yesterday, I uh, know Baumia has raised his course. The question is, how is the MPP party through Baumia seeing Ghanaians? Deceit every day. In reality, the MPP has drawn us back. Never again from Crosby, uh, Hokwe. Now, this one says, Dr. Baumia, let the guy, he said, 78% oh, of our promises delivered, says Dr. Baumia. Dr. Baumia, let the Ghanaians do the evaluation themselves rather than you spending time and money doing your own appraisal. Wait for 7th December for the verdict. If you think you've done a good work, why organize a forum to tell your okay. story? Okay, so hold on. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm told there's a bit of a challenge with your microphone. We'll have to fix it there. So, Bobo, you were airborne. Take take one when minute. Oh, <laughs> did, he <laughs> <laughs> did he land? Uh, energy, energy did he land? Did he land? Why are you? Why are you, he's your senior? So you slow down. Okay. Yes. So yes. Johnny, yeah. I'm saying that mm -hmm. if you look at the economy that we inherited, mm. clearly, and of course coupled with the banking sector issues, mm. clearly, all those had to be addressed. Okay. Of course, whilst we address those, we introduce measures that were intended at reducing the suffering of Ghanaians. Okay. Reduce taxes. Mm and then generate the revenue to build the infrastructure to support the economic growth that we all okay. aspire for. And so, five of those infrastructure promises that we made have definitely been concluded. 30% mm. of them are at various stages of construction, mm. and we are hoping okay. that if the good people of Ghana have faith in us to retain mm. us in power, mm. as we've said, that we are consolidating the gains that we've made so far, mm. all the rest of them, plus additional ones that we commit to execute within our second term. Your, your promise was to do this in four years. I agree. Now you're asking for addendum. 
I agree. To be able to do what you said you were doing for it. But you see, it, you, that you, is not the contract. No, you, you need to people. situate it in context. Which context? Of what it is that our political history mm -hmm. is, mm -hmm. and what it is that governments in the past have been able to achieve within the limited resource envelope that we have. But you say you, on, you told on. the people you no, do, you do better. No, no, of if, course we have if, done better. If the NDC is the standard that is not good for Ghanaians, and now you are measuring your success by their standard. You see, we we what does that we have make done, you? We have done better, mm. and I've told you that if you compare Be better than the our West, records, the West. Oh, way better than the NDC ever dreamt But of the doing. NDC was rejected because you told Ghanaians that they were the wrong option. Of course they are. Now, and if, we if still you are comparing they are, they are your wrong. success by the wrong option, so what, what does that make you? No. What is the benchmark for distinguishing ourselves? Okay. Is to point to you that this is the worst man that was there. That we said, vote them out and bring us mm -hmm. in. This is what we have done that should give you comfort mm. that okay. we are better than them. Okay. And so we can only benchmark our record against yes. Okay. Thank in you. Fact, Edigy, fact, Edigy, let me just think of 78 you know 75 percent. You know my senior mm. here. Mm. Every morning, every morning, every day, he drives on one of the infrastructure projects by John Mahama to the house and back to the house. Which is never Do in you the know where I live. Which is <laughs> oh you know, that's why I didn't want <laughs> you, to you didn't that. want to mention but it. he knows, he knows. I, and I know my uh, senior is very honest. You okay. drive on the motorway every day, Mr. Mahama <laughs> <laughs> But you see, was he not the same person on, who told on, us that any government that has been tracked on infrastructure? My senior is a very very interesting proposition. Which is and say that oh MPP wisdom that is why they have collateralized receivables from Get Fund. Mm. These same people chastise the NDC for collateralizing the road fund. Mm. These same people. It becomes very difficult to have an honest conversation with the MPP. How so? Because I mean, they shift the goal. Five, five have been achieved. 30 are you know, work in progress. What? 10 you know are yet to start. You What's your what? difficulty? When Dr. Baumia was speaking to the good people of Ashanti and Ghanaians, mm. the people in Ashanti were asking him, Baumia, you are yet to start any hospital project in Ashanti. You are yet to even construct a market because we are known for doing business mm. or trade. You are yet to even start a serious road project in Ashanti region. And you are saying that you have scoring yourself this much in the But they, they beefed up the Kofuanochi teaching know, hospital. Oh, Didn't please, you see please, please. Uh, the first lady, uh, Auntie, Auntie Rebecca what, what, Akufuado, what the, what the, first the child care what, unit? Is it part of the MPP achievement? But but it is, is that what they it, are if you add on to so it, it's not, it's not years, an achievement. In Ashanti, you are talking about extending children's unit mm. in Kofanoji. Please, I don't think senior will even want to associate with that abysmal record. But but if you are you see, if you are expanding, let me, let me, let me, let me proceed. Yeah, proceed. They claim they have done better in infrastructure. Right. When they are here to even commence any major project in our railway infrastructure. You have not seen. They say they have done better. You have not seen the. Oh, please let me just go. Temaport expansion project. Mm. We have seen the benefit today. They say they have done better when they are here to start one. They claim they have done better mm. when Tema Akosombo railway line. They saw how we went for the money from India and everything. They say they have. The Takradi port expansion. Bobo says oh. work has started. You know. You know. There is a company called mm. Abis. Mm. Abis Tech. Mm. He knows them. He should tell us when that project started. Look, let's be honest to the conversation. His own constituency, Second Kojoko Railway Project, mm. his own place. When he's here to do anything meaningful in his own constituency, he says they have done better. Okay. And so, if you pick project by project, and one, your, your time one is thing, up. Mm. you know now, when you get to Temamoto, the mm. runabout, mm. that major project right. going, John Mahama went to Japan. The Japanese gave two projects, Volivo, linking Greater Accra to the Volta region, mm -hmm. and the Temaran about project. You should be thankful, you should be thankful the government These didn't people, stop the project. They are yet to start anything. But you see, this is a government. But if they didn't stop it, that's an please, achievement, please. is that not? This is a government that came. 200 mm -hmm. Cocoa Road projects. They stop it in the name of it. Okay, thank you very then much. In 2010, you claim you are a year of what? Excavators or right. roads? Excavators is here. Okay, it's a year of roads, not All excavators. Right. So <laughs> let me just uh, continue from where <laughs> I stopped. Uh, so this one says 78% of <laughs> our promises <laughs> delivered. <laughs> says Dr. Allah. Baumia. <laughs> Dr. Baumia, let the Ghanaians do the evaluation themselves rather than you spending time and money doing your own appraisal. Wait for 7th December for the verdict. If you think you've done a good work, why organize a forum to tell 
tell your story. When you do propaganda with issues, the reality of today will expose you. <laughs> From Ablade, Efia, Kuma, Zongo, Takrade. This one says, all depositors of collapsed banks will be paid, says Dr. Baumia. Dr. Baumia, when did you budget for the payment in 2020 budget? Did, uh, Dr. Baumia, so when are you going to stop the talk and show action? Your first tenor is almost ending. You're still promising. Please, we are not interested in your grammar. This one says, Dr. Baumia claims that Ghanaian, uh, Ghana is the most fastest growing economy in the world. I'm just an ordinary Ghanaian, but what I know is that one can not borrow money from somebody to be better than that person. Meanwhile, majority of the 2019 exhibition officers have been paid. Kumbungu constituency, no single exhibition officer has been paid. Yakubu from Tamale. Good morning, TV3. This government and MPP again uh, found themselves cooking figures from their town hall meeting. The president and Dr. Baumia, who is telling us the truth. The president said a few weeks ago that they performed 72% and Dr. Baumia said yesterday that they performed 78%. Ghanaians are waiting for December 7th. She needed to vote them out of power. My greetings to Honorable ABF Husseini from Dobis uh, Sagnerugu. Good morning to you all in the studios and viewers. The MPP under His Excellency Nana uh, Na Abudani has done better with results-oriented pro-poor policies and policies that are national in character. Example, free SHS, the NDC can continue wallowing in their airbus. For more for Nana. Uh, so with all the public lecture about the economy and the city by Dr. Baumia, the economy and the city is worse. No wonder we don't run the economy with textbooks. Anwa, Cape. Uh, good morning, TV3. I get confused when politicians quote achievements every day. I plead with TV3 to push these two political party communicators to support any major points with documents when they appear on TV or show viewers uh, where they get their figures from. You see why Dr. Baumia continues to be the nemesis of NDC? He approaches issues with undisputed facts and figures. Truly, Nana Ado's presidency has chalked tremendous success and need to be trumpeted. Regards to Honorable Willie, uh, uh, an uh, incoming MP for Afram Plains. This is from Kwesi Reynolds in Aguna Adobing. And that's it for okay. the messages. This Thank morning. you. That's it. I'm grateful. But well, I've seen 18 sectors in the, in the uh, assessment, but I've not seen anything on sanitation. Why? Sanitation is not as important to the government <laughs> as... Oh, government. Of, of course. <laughs> sanitation is <coughs> important. But these were... And I'm, I'm sure that sanitation will be on the local government. Okay. Okay? Mm. These are headline items that were contained in our manifesto. Okay. Based on which specific promises were made okay. and have been extracted. Expl explanation well ahead. Thank you. Andre Japa no, Mesa is just, the... No, so that the, you can clarify something. But see that, the 2020 budget... There Andre no Japa Mesa is the member of parliament for the second e constituency <laughs> and uh, he was here on the ticket of the parliament. NPP. And also, um, lawyer Dujita Meklo is um, he was here on the ticket of the NDC. He's a member of the NDC's legal team. They are both lawyers. They're very good friends.